Sail faster, sail safer, in association with Pantaneous. Welcome to Sail Faster, Sail Safer, a series of videos presented by professional solo sailor Pip Hare. It's not much wind today, but we're going to have a look at how we can go downwind fast and safe without using the spinnaker and hassle-free. Pulling out the Genoa downwind will give you a better speed because it brings the Genoa out from behind the mainsail and pre presents its full area to the wind. We're just using the spinnaker pole at the moment to hold the Genoa in place. There's a couple of tricks to using the spinnaker pole. Firstly, use a totally independent sheet. At the moment, we're using our spinnaker sheet. So that gives us a nice, clean, outboard lead to the back of the boat. But also, it means that the pole is totally independent of the jib. So if we want to jibe or we want to roll the headsail up, there's no problem at all because there's a separate sheet. Um, also, you might want to think about the height of your pole on the inboard end. You won't go for full length on the pole, so you don't want a horizontal pole to hold the jib out. And if the inboard end of the pole is above the outboard end of the pole, then it makes it a lot easier to manage the pole getting it in and out. In rolling conditions, or when you're travelling dead downwind for quite a long time, you might choose to use a preventer on the boom. Now this is uh, mistakenly named a jibe preventer sometimes. Don't forget, it won't stop the boat from jibing, it just stops the boom from coming across the boat. Um, to put our preventer on, the first thing we're going to do is attach a rope to the end of the boom with a nice long bowline on it, um, so that we don't have to centre the boom again to get the preventer off. We then take it outside the boat to a forward lead. We're just hooking it under one of the mooring cleats here. Um, and then back to a winch in the cockpit so that at any time we can release the preventer from the cockpit and bring the boom into the centre. Sailing longer distances downwind, you might prefer to Give your mainsail a bit of a break, stop it from rug rubbing on the spreaders all the time and instead use a twin headsail setup. We've set up two headsails on this boat, putting one in each groove on our furling gear. The starboard headsail we're supporting with the spinnaker pole, as we showed you earlier, but the port headsail, we've rigged up a snatch block on the end of the boom. We're holding the boom out with a preventer and another spinnaker sheet is going from the clue of our port head sail through the end of the boom and then back into the boat. So this is just supporting the head sail and keeping it nice and open in the same manner that the spinnaker pole is doing to the starboard head sail. This setup you might want to play around with a bit, move the pole up and move the block up and down the boom and uh, just see where you get minimum chafe and where the right position is for the size of head sail that you're using. Sail faster, sail safer, in association with Pantaneous.